Hello Mini Pilots, today we are going to be looking at flying our Mavic Minis over water. Now this was a request from Joe, and I've been meaning to do it for some time, but because of the strict social distancing rules, I haven't been able to get what I wanted. However, now the lockdown rules have loosened up a bit, I decided to go down to the beach and make this video whilst remaining socially safe. Let's get started. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I've shaved my hair because of COVID-19, and my girlfriend's made me paint the wall green. So there's lots of new things going on. Okay, so flying over water for the first time can be pretty daunting. If anything goes wrong, the likelihood is you're not gonna get your drone back. But there's a few precautions we can take and a few things we can do to minimize this as much as possible. And I'm gonna go through these in this video. Now there's quite a few things we wanna do before we even take the drone off. Uh, the first thing I recommend you do is just check the drone over to make sure it's in good flying condition. Paying particular attention to the propellers because obviously if they're damaged, it's gonna affect the flight and we don't want it coming down over the water. Um, I have made a video on how to change propellers. There will be a link in the top right hand corner now and also a link in the description below. The next thing we want to do is prevent any chance of a flyaway. I've made a video about this before, a link in the description below or in the top right hand corner of the screen. But basically we want to make sure that we've got a sensible return to home height set, which at the beach can be fairly low. And we also want to make sure the compass is calibrated properly and we're being picked up properly by the GPS before we take off. The next thing we're going to want to consider, which actually for me is probably the biggest thing, is looking at the wind. Now again, I have made a video about this, uh, links in the usual places, but it's particularly important, obviously if we're flying over the sea, that we don't get pushed out further by the wind. Now I like to test the wind by dropping some grass and seeing which way it falls. If the wind's blowing out towards sea, I would hesitate about putting it up. Unless the wind's very gentle, I probably wouldn't put it up at all. However, when I flew on this particular day, the wind was very calm and I felt confident putting it up in the air. I notice my hair's a bit long. That's not because of coronavirus, that's because I want to test the wind. So if my hair's blowing, I know it's too windy and it's pretty still at the moment. So I know I'm okay. Alternatively, if you don't want to grow your hair for a few months, you can just uh, drop some grass and see how it falls. That was terrible. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that, but it's probably a good idea. And lastly, it's also a good idea to check your battery level and just make sure it's 100% charged. So once we're happy with all those conditions, it's time to find a place to take off. Now originally I was going to take off uh, quite far back from the sea, up here. Now the first reason for this is there's no sand here. Obviously if we're taking off from the sand, there's a chance we can kick up the sand into the propellers and jam the motors. And I do actually have a bit of a problem with one of the motors at the moment, and I believe it may be because of this. The second reason is because it's further away from the water. I know that if I have to hit the return to home button, if it can't quite make it back, there's still a small buffer space where it can land safely. However, on this particular day, it was really busy. So in the end, I decided to go down closer to the water where there are less people and take off from there. Now, obviously this will apply more if you're at the beach. If you're taking off from a lake, for example, um, I'd recommend just taking off so you're flying into the wind. So that way, if you need to get it back, you can always get it back with the wind behind it. And the last thing I'm just going to say is just bear in mind, if it does get caught out by the wind, you can hit sports mode, give it some extra power, and hopefully this will give it enough to get back. Now the first thing I wanted to do before I went over the sea was actually take the drone off and go up high, and then move backwards and forwards above myself for a bit, just to make sure that the wind wasn't too strong and it wasn't going to take the drone. Once I was happy this was okay, I then dropped back down and I flew towards the water. Now I wouldn't usually do this, but just to show you, I'm going to fly the drone low over the water and we can see how well it hovers above it. Now I have seen videos where people have had problems doing this and uh, I believe with other drones you can actually turn the sensors off the bottom, which is what they recommend, and it will help it hover above the water. I don't believe you have this option with the Mavic Mini at the moment and actually with them on, it's hovering just fine and I'm not worried about this going into the water too much at the moment. I have had a problem with this before where the drone did start to go down, so I would actually recommend keeping line of sight if possible. I know a lot of people don't like to do this, but it's entirely up to you. I would recommend it if you don't have to stop, just to keep moving the drone, and this would ensure you don't crash it into the water. Now I do recommend not going too low, we don't want to get caught up by any waves or accidentally dip into the water. Now the next tip after saying don't go too low, is don't go too high. Uh, don't go higher than you need, because obviously the higher we go, the more risk we are at getting taken by the wind, and it's just not worth taking that risk if we don't need to. Now from here, you can pretty much just go and have fun. Uh, just be cautious of anything that might be poking out of the water, or any poles or any boats or, or anything you can hit that's obviously going to knock your drone out of the air, but usually it's going to be pretty plain sailing. Now this was my first time out flying properly for a long time, so I wanted to have a bit of fun over the water and just enjoy flying. 
However, I do have a problem with my phone sometimes where it freezes up. I can still fly around and see through the view of the camera on the drone. However, everything else is frozen up. The compass isn't working. The gimbal doesn't show what rotation it's at. And at this particular time, I was just changing the shutter settings, which made the picture completely black. So although usually I'd be able to see where I was going, this time I couldn't actually see through the view at all. So I actually decided to end my flight early, come back over land, and then fly it over an empty field. Now this is something that rarely happens on my phone, but it has happened a few times. If it's happened to you, let me know. It'd be something worth looking into and just understanding a bit better. Now again, when landing the drone, I decided to land it in my hand this time, just so it doesn't get caught up in any sand when it lands again. As I was saying before, I didn't get all the shots I'd wanted to get, but I did manage to get this one. Now it doesn't look very good at first, but if we bring this over into DaVinci Resolve and we put a mirror modifier on it, it can give a really cool effect. From here we can do all sorts of things, we can change the colour grading, I've decided to put this steampunk air balloon in I've made in the blender and just have some real fun with it. If you'd like a video on how to do this effect, uh, leave a comment in the section down below and I'd be happy to do that. Also hit that subscribe button and you'll know as soon as it comes out. Okay guys, so I hope this has built up some confidence for you in taking your drone out over the water. Uh, if you are still wary, just take it slow and don't go too far and then as you build up your confidence you can go up further and further. Now if you do lose sight of the drone, don't forget you've always got the compass down below to help you find your way back. Now if your phone freezes up like mine did and you don't know where your drone is, you can always hit the return to home button on your remote and this will ensure you get home safely. And if for any reason you don't feel it's safe to fly over the water, just don't do it, try another time or leave it for another day. If you've enjoyed this video, hitting that like button is a huge help to me as a creator and hitting that subscribe button is an even bigger help still. Uh, now that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.